my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you how I organize my cookie cutters and all my cookie decorating material. And I hope that this video inspires you to start organizing your cookie decorating material. For a long time I was planning to start organizing my cookie closet. That's how I call it. The closet where I put all my cookie decorating materials. But I never had the time. So in this quarantine I had a lot of time and finally I said I have to do it and I started one day and I didn't knew that it was going to take me so many days but finally I did it and I really like all the results that I have. And so I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you and let's get started. Very good, I'm going to show you my cookie closet. Here we go, don't get scared. Uh oh okay this is my cookie closet welcome to the cookie couture closet. Okay. in here i have all my mini cookie cutters you know that i love mini mini cookie cutters this is like a hardware container i guess so i have here all of them some of them are classified some of them are just like whatever and I find that one's very, very handy. It's a hook on my door. And over here, you can see that I have a big mess. Okay, there are a lot of cookie cutters, sets, and banners. And here I have my sprinkles and sunny sugars, and a little bit of everything in between cookie cutters over there and here it's supposed to be the paints and over there I have a mess cookie cutters just like throw them like that and over here I have more mess a lot of cookie cutters like whatever and whatever uh, I love how I stack them very nicely and over there I have more cookie cutters and boxes and over here I have a big mess that you cannot even see what is behind there. Here I have some aprons, some extra water for emergencies, and that's it. It's a big mess, okay? So I will try to make this look a little bit nicer and organized. So I hope that you like this video and that my categorized skills will help you because um, I don't like how I categorize my cookie cutters because every time that I'm looking for something, I don't find anything. Supposedly in there I have animals. I have animals, holidays, and uh, girly stuff. But anyway, I never find anything. When I try to find a particularly cookie cutter, I have to look everywhere and it always freaks me out because I spend so much time looking for that particularly cookie cutter. Okay, let's get started. I will take out all the single cookie cutters and then I will categorize them in alphabetical order. The cookie cutter sets that are already in a box, I'm gonna leave them like that. I use post-its to grind the alphabet letters and I will put them on my table to spread out all my mess. it was going to be more difficult and it was going to take me more time but it was not that hard at all. There are some letters that have more cookie cutters and some letters that have very little pieces. Okay. 
Now I will use all the containers that I have and I will label the boxes using a Sharpie. For the letter A there are very few cookie cutters so I'm going to put it in a container that I have already. Uh, later on maybe I will switch it to a clear uh, container but right now I'm going to use whatever I have handy. As you can see for letter B there are a lot and also for letter C so I'm going to use one of those big containers. I think so the letter C has the most. I'm going to put them also in a big box. And I will do the same thing for all of them. And I'm going to mix uh, the letter D, E, F in the same box. Um, probably even G. But I will. that I have these containers what I like about this is that you can have a division here my cookie cutters by alphabetical order I hope that this will help me to find them easier when I'm going to do a project first I'm gonna lay them with a sharpie For these small cookie cutter sets, I also use a sharpie to label them. Now I'm going to arrange them in my cookie closet. For my sprinkles, sanding sugars and food coloring, I try to organize them in the order of the rainbow. For my custom sprinkles, I use these tiny containers from Amazon. I love them and they are so handy. Very good. Finally, I finished with one of my quarantine projects and it is my cookie closet. So I am ready to share it with you guys. 
I hope that you like it and whatever I did helps you to organize your cookie closet. Yes. For my tiny cookie cutters organizer, I label each of the drawers so I know which cookie cutter is inside that little drawer. Here I have some cookie cutters that I organize by holidays and some cookie cutter sets, some burners, cake toppers, cake stands, recipe books. See here I have all my sprinkles, sunny sugar, custom sprinkles, pearls, and here in this corner I have a lot of cookie cutter sets. In this level I have all my food coloring, edible sprays, pastry bags. In this level I have more cookie cutters. I have from the letter C to the letter Z. And also I have some other sets that are in little boxes. And here I have some more. But I really really like that now they are in alphabetical order and it is easier for me to find them when I'm looking for them. So in here I have more cookie cutter sets, my stencils, my fondant tools, some party decor, my powder sugar. I have another tray that I use where um, I have some other trays that I use to put more cookie cutters that I don't know where to put or new cookie cutters. And in that level, I have things that I normally don't use, like trays, baking sheets, mats, my padded candy paper. And I love this area because in here, I can put my rolling cart. It's perfectly, I can close the door very nicely. Here, I have some packaging material, my labels, edible markers and in this little tray I like to put the sunny sugar and the sprinkles that I'm going to use in my project also I put here the food coloring that I'm going to use and it is very easy for me to stay organized and I just roll my cart close to my working station and that level I have a uh, Tin boxes, see-through boxes, cake boxes, and cookie boxes. Hmm, I have a candle there. <laughs> okay guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video and if you're new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, push the notification button, follow me on my social media, and always be super creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating and also in your organizing skills. See you until next time. Bye-bye.